Great cities cannot claim greatness unless they are endowed with great museums. London has no problem in that regard. Three of the world's greatest museums are located within a few hundred feet of each other in South Kensington. There's the Victoria and Albert, the V&A for short, the world's largest museum dedicated to the decorative arts, the Science Museum, and the Natural History Museum, aptly called by many the Cathedral of Nature. The museum's main entrance is on Cromwell Road. Evidence of bomb damage from the Second World War can still be seen on its facade. Admission is free, but donations are gratefully accepted. The museum, which was founded in 1881, has 78 million specimens in its five collection areas of botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology, and zoology. An escalator takes visitors through the molten center of the earth into the earth galleries. Exhibits here explain volcanoes, tectonic plates, and how rocks were formed. One exhibit allows visitors to physically experience what it's like to be in an earthquake. The museum contains specimens gathered by world-famous naturalist and geologist Charles Darwin on his five-year voyage around the world aboard the HMS Beagle. A statue of Darwin overlooks the main hall in the Waterhouse Wing. This part of the museum contains the life galleries, including the large mammal exhibit with a 10-ton blue whale skeleton suspended from the ceiling. The Natural History Museum should be on everyone's list of things to see in London. The building alone is worth spending a few hours to visit.